good afternoon guys uh, welcome to our pre tournament press conference ahead of uh, what will be mumbai city's first ever participation in the durand cup thank you for making uh, time this afternoon uh, just at the outset i would like to uh, remind that let please let's please keep the questions to mumbai city and uh, our durand cup participation today and obviously anything around around the club that you might want to ask uh, today's press conference will be addressed by head coach des buckingham and defender rahul beke the process remains the same as we've done all of last season if you have a question please put your name in the chat box along with your organization and once i take your name you can ask your question so i'm i'm going to hand over the stage to the speakers for today uh, you can you can send in your uh, names in the chat box if you have a question Aditya from ESPN. Aditya, you can ask your question. Uh, hi, Des. Uh, uh, so, w what what's the importance that this tournament has for you? I mean, the ISL is coming up, obviously, and I think that's priority for most clubs. But uh, are you using this as a tournament that the club wants to win, or is it still a preparation tournament for bigger things to come later on in the season? Yeah. Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, to start with. Um, for us it's 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 not one or the other if for, for 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 me as a coach and for us as a playing group and as a club we want to continue where we left off in the champions league last year uh, which was continuing to build our brand of football um, continuing to give players opportunities to showcase what they can do um, whether it's on the asia stage or here at the durand cup or whether it's in preparation for the isl so for me yes of course it's it's going to be a first competitive game against the navy coming up in our first game um but for me it's very much important that we try and pick up where we left off at the back end of last season thanks aditya do you have any follow up and if there's any other questions from anybody else please put your names in the chat box guys yeah uh, i anuj i just have follow up that monas rahul go for it uh, yeah so rahul obviously the champions league was uh, a big big step for the club uh, uh in terms of you know the playing group playing against such a uh, competitive opposition there um and once again in terms of the indians that are there you're one of the senior players now in the side uh, both in terms of experience and their i say age uh, what do you see your role as being apart from you know your first first role which is being a defender but uh, within the group what do you see as your role as being throughout the season uh yeah we, uh, we had a great uh, uh campaign uh in uh, saudi and now as a senior i look forward to have a great season this is also the things that uh, we want to achieve as a team and uh, i look forward to keep uh, guiding the juniors uh, we have a good set of players uh, where there are mixture of juniors as well as seniors so uh, as a senior it's always uh, my duty to keep helping them guiding them on and off the pitch and that's what i will keep doing and help my team Thanks Aditya. Thank we'll you. Thank we'll you. move to um, uh, Amitabh sir from the Hindu. Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear sir. Yeah, good afternoon uh, coach. Uh, my name is Amitabh. I work for the Hindu newspaper. Hi. Uh, I ju just like to uh, have your uh, assessment of the uh, team that you have. You have made certain certain transformations to the side uh, after the last ISL. So can you please uh, give up a give us a kind of a wrap up of the side that you have now yeah i'm very happy with the side that we have um when i go back to last season we haven't had wholesale change we've managed to retain a very big core of our playing group from last year um so we we've only actually changed six players and when i look back at our last champions league game the team that started against air force of the 11 that took to the field to start that game we still have 10 of those players with us and of course then some of the subs that never came on or did come on So in terms of starting from a good base this season from players we've been able to retain and try to keep here both now and long term I'm very happy with uh and then we we highlighted early sort of early March time some of the players that we wanted to bring in to adapt and build our style of football and to be able to bring the likes of Greg Stewart, Alberto Nguera, Rostin Griffiths and of course Diaz um in as foreign players to to be able to hopefully allow us to do that they complement Matado Fall and Jahul who we've re-signed in January as well so 
Um, you know, domestically we made one, uh, one signing, which was uh, Sanjeev uh, from Kerala. Uh, but in terms of retaining our core base, that will set us up in a good space for, for this season, um, whilst also trying to add that little bit of quality uh, from our foreign recruits. Can you ask one more question? Yeah, yes. sir, go on, please. Yeah. Um, coach, uh, I just like to educate myself on the fact that uh, there are, uh, you can use four foreigners, foreigners on field right now. So as far as the Indian uh, players go, so how has, uh, as a team like Mumbai City FC, which has uh, uh, done successfully well in the last few years, so how are you adapting to the new system and how are the Indian players that you have are they reacting to your kind of philosophy of playing? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one because I think you try and balance off the development of um, Indian players uh, whilst also trying to make sure that the quality that we have within the league and within our team is as high as it can be. And what I certainly see is the, the, you know, the four or five, whatever the draw, wherever the line is drawn, um, I think it's a, it's a good one because it allows seven Indian players to get onto the field. And if you can get your recruitment right and you can bring good foreigners into your team, it should help further enhance the development of those players within the group. So in terms of the young players we have here especially, the average age of our Indian um, players is 23 years old. So to be surrounded not just with players like Rahul next to me, um, you know, more senior and older players, <laughs> Uh, but to be able to surround them with the likes of the foreign players that we, you know, we've retained and also brought in for this year, I think it really helps enhance the development of both our team, um, but the players we have within our team, and hopefully then the, the league and the quality of football that we can play. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dilip from Scroll. Uh, hi, Coach. Hi. Uh, just a question on Duratka. Uh, what, how are you, uh, what are your plans for, uh, how, what are your goals? Looking at the Duratka, are you looking at as growing as a preparatory camp or team? Uh, after the season, or like, uh, will it be going in all out uh, for the time? That's me, I'll see. Me. Um, yeah, for, again, it, we, we haven't quite set that yet with the playing group. Again, we've got meetings today. Uh, for me, as I said, it's about making sure we continue trying to be as successful as we can be as a club. Um, we've had the success in, in, in carrying on from, trying to carry on from the Champions League. We've just had three weeks of a preparatory camp in Dubai before we've come here because we wanted to prepare as well as we can firstly for this tournament um, and then secondly for the ISL um, but I won't disrespect this tournament in saying we're using it as a preparation for ISL because it is the oldest competition in India it's the oldest competition in Asia and it's our first time of competing so of course we want to try and do as well as we can um, but again the first game that we will play since the Air Force game three months ago will be the game against the Navy so We'll do as well as we can within the group that we have first and foremost, but we must make sure that we get off to a good start, and that's making sure we, we only look at the first game within the group. Uh, can I ask a follow-up question? Go for it, please. Uh, uh, coach, also regarding to the news in the morning, you know, uh, uh, how, this, uh, uh, how does it affect your preparation, you know, especially the foreign players, because, uh, you know, technically the Durant Cup and the league uh, for now are unsanctioned for the fans, so... How are you as a coach and also how are the players taking it and overall how is the club looking at the band because uh, you know short term and long term plan you know is affected by this? Yeah, of course we, we woke up to the news that everyone else woke up to this morning. Um, for us it doesn't change how we do what we do. Uh, we you know, we went away to prepare for the Durang Cup and it's part of our as a club, we want to, like I said, we want to be as successful as we can. The news this morning doesn't change that for us as a playing group or a staff group or as a club. Um, and in terms of the, the rest of it, it doesn't change it for, for the ISL for us right now. So, again, our attention and the players' attention and focus is very much on the first game against the Navy, um, and that will continue to be the case. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dilip. We'll move to Levin. Levin from IFTWC. Yeah, good morning, coach. Good afternoon, coach. Uh, coach, can you sum up the team's preparation in the pre-season till now? Yeah, uh, we had, we, we obviously finished the season a little bit later than most. I think uh, ATK Mohan began and, and ourselves with obviously the AFC Cup and Champions League didn't finish until, well certainly us, the start of May. Um, so we had a shortened off season, which was, which was good. Um, we then reported back into Dubai on the 24th and started training on the 25th of July. And we've had a really good three-week camp uh, in Dubai before we've come across to Calcutta. 
uh, and the idea for that was to try and prepare as well as we can. Um, we know with the shortened off season, clubs are now starting to, and the, the longer season with the Durand Cup, the league, and, and maybe a Super Cup as well. The league has extended from what it was five or six years ago, where it was two or three months uh, of a season, to what will look likely now be an eight or nine month season. So. It's very good in terms of our club and other clubs preparing as well as they can for these tournaments and these leagues. Um, but in terms of the three weeks we've had, we've got all of our players here now with the exception of Matada Fawn, who will join us um, shortly. Uh, and uh, they've, they've, we've prepared as well as we can. Uh, they've been very good, they've worked hard, and I think we've got ourselves into the best space we could have for the, uh, for the time we've had to us. Um, Coach, I've got another question for you. Like, um, some of the clubs have already played some friendly games ahead of the season, like Durand Cup. So, do you think uh, Mumbai City haven't played any either? So, do you think that might backfire? Or another question is like, um, what are your plans for them? Like, what are your goals or objectives for the upcoming season? Yeah, I'm going to let you in on a secret here. We have played some games, but we've kept them quiet. So, I'm not going to tell you where or when, but uh, we have played some games. <laughs> Uh, so that's been good. We've played internal games, but we've also played an external game uh, during our time in Dubai. So it's been uh, as good as preparation as we can. We wanted to make sure we got enough training into the players before we started exposing them to games because it's important that we not only keep them up, we get them fit, but we keep them fit. Um, and exposing them to games too early can be detrimental both now and in, in, the, uh, in the short term. So um, that's been as good as prep as we can. And in terms of the season... Like I said, we wanna, we've, we've, we're a club that wants to be successful. And to be successful, we, we want to play a certain style of football. But we're also you know, we're not naive enough to realise that we want to we win things. Players and coaches and the club want to continue building this legacy at the club that was the double that was won two years ago. Um, and it's certainly something we're, we'll be trying to compete for this year, whether it's the Durand Cup or it's the league. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Levin. Uh, we'll move to Triya Shah from the bridge. Good afternoon, coach. Firstly, welcome to Kolkata. I hope you're liking here. Uh, you. So, my question to you is, uh, given Gurkirat Singh's performance recently, do you think he has done enough to earn a place as a starter in the team, at least during the Durant Cup? I think what Gurkirat did consistently over that tournament was wonderful for himself and his family. Uh, to be able to turn up and score eight goals for your country is a, is a wonderful achievement in itself. Um, and for the, for the uh, under-20s to win that competition was really nice to see. They had the support of us. We watched the games <coughs> excuse me, from here. So it's a, it's a real good showing from Gurkaret and one as a club we were very proud of to sit back and watch and, and see how he represented himself and the country. Um, <coughs> last year, we, we obviously gave game time to Gurkaret in the league. Uh, he also made his Champions League debut. You know, he's only, he was only 18 at the time, so he's a very young player. And he will get opportunities this season as well. And the Duran Cup, I certainly see as an opportunity for him to do that. And he's now got the likes of, you know, not just Bipin uh, Singh, he's got Chante, he has uh, Vikram, young Vikram, who, who, who he works very well with. And of course, Diaz in those forwards roles with Greg Stewart. So he's surrounded by good players who will continue helping his development. And then it's important when he gets onto the field, uh, he's trusted, which he is in this group, and we've already shown that, that he uh, then gets the chance to showcase what he can do at ISL level. Um, and if he, can, if he can show what he did in the, uh, the 20s competition in the Durand Cup or, or in the ISL, we'll be very happy. Thank you. Can I ask a follow-up question to uh, Rahul and you as well? Yes, please. Uh, so your first game is against Jim Shepherd and... Uh, they are sending their developmental side, uh, so not Jam the first team. Jamshedpur are so not in our group. Uh, I, I hope you got that correct. We're playing uh, our first game against the Indian Navy. Okay. Sorry, sorry, I got confused. I'm really sorry. Really sorry. Okay, someone else. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Uh, we'll move to uh, Srivatsan. DD next. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Coach and Rahul. Uh, firstly, best wishes for the upcoming season. Thank you. Uh, coach, uh, in the last two transfer windows, you've brought in some of the best players from other ISL clubs, uh, Chante in January and uh, Pereira Diaz, Greg Stewart, Alberto Noguera. So with the kind of star power that you have right now, is there any added pressure on yourself and the club? Because you're considered to be a force to reckon with, one of the teams to beat in the upcoming season. Um, there's no pressure on me or there's no pressure on the, on the group. I think you know, every team is, is uh, able to recruit six foreign players. 
and I've seen some of the signings for the other clubs as well and there's some fantastic signings that have stayed within the league and, and of course have come into it this season so I think the league itself has got a lot stronger and teams within the league have got stronger and it'll be an, it'll be an interesting season for sure not just for us but for, for everyone um, so yeah no pressure no pressure on us you know we recruited from we had the opportunity to recruit from within and, and from outside and I've worked across the world over the last 10 years and what I have seen is players, foreign players in particular, can sometimes take some time to adapt to a new country or a new, a new league. Um, so when we went out and looked at players that would suit our style of football that we want to play this year, to, to find three of them uh, in uh, Diaz, in Greg and in Nogueira, that not only have um, adapted to the Indian football scene and the way of living here, um, but to see the performances that they've been able to put in pretty consistently, not just in last season, but for some of them for two seasons. It made real sense that they ticked a lot of boxes to how we wanted to play. They fitted the criteria in terms of they've, they've adapted to the country and the league. Um, so when we had the opportunity to sign them, um, it was one I was very keen to, to move and move quickly on. So I'm very happy with our recruitment. But again, we're as, I think we're as, we've gone out and strengthened as well as we can, but I, I also think other teams have gone and done that as well. So I think it's shaken up to be a very good season. Thank you, Coach. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Steve Watson. We'll move to uh, Shilajit. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon, Rahul. This is Shilajit from uh, Shangbad Pradesh, a Bengali daily newspaper. So uh, my question to Coach is, uh, you are with a, within a group with uh, two of uh, Kolkata's uh, biggest club, uh, I'm sorry, uh, India's biggest club. So what is your assessment about uh, those two clubs, uh, ATK Mohan Bagan and Imam East Bengal? I think they're two wonderful clubs, you know, Mohan Bagan and, and Bengal. I've heard about the, the crowds that certainly turn up here and I'm looking forward to, to seeing, you know, crowds back in the stadium and seeing what does turn up for that game in particular. So. You know, we had two good games. We've always had good games against uh, ATK Mohan Bagan uh, and East Bengal. You know, with the recruitment of the head coach, with Stephen Constantine, and some of the players that they've brought in in the last week, I think it'll be a very interesting uh, group for us. Um, you know, and that's without talking about the Navy and uh, the other teams we have within our group. So, <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to, to playing all four of the games that we have guaranteed in that group stage. Thank you, Coach. Uh, my, can I ask a follow-up question to Rahul? Yes, for sure. Okay. Uh, Rahul, you are a senior member of the national team as well as Mumbai City FC, uh, one of the biggest clubs of India now. So, what is your view on that uh, FIFA ban? Uh, I think it's uh, bad news uh, for the Indian football and I hope uh, things get uh, resolved as soon as possible and everything gets normal soon. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you, Coach. Best of luck for the season. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, if, you, if there's any further questions, guys, please put your names in the chat box. I know Dilip has a follow-up. Yeah, thanks, Coach. Uh, Coach, could you just uh, you speak a bit more about the foreign the foreign teams, particularly like Greg Stewart and uh, Jorge Pereira, you know, how they fit into your team, given you know you have uh, a very set of midfield and uh, forward line. Do you see how they can improve uh, your side? Yeah, I think we, we see last year, you know, we were able to progress up the field and play some good football. And at times, um, we just struggled in that final third uh, in terms of goals and goal contributions. So, you know, like I said, we've retained a large core of those players from last year. And we've, we've tried to add some players in that final third that will help us finish off moves more consistently. And, uh, you know, to, to be able to, to rope in players like Greg Stewart um, and uh, Alberto Nogueira and Diaz, I'm convinced with the players that we have around them, um, not only will we create more opportunities and more chances on goals, but I'd like to think that we'll be able to convert a lot more of those chances as well, which should, uh, um, should really develop our game um, and also allow us to play different ways as and when we need to. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Dilip. Livin, you have a follow-up? Uh, yes. Uh, so, so this question is for the whole team. So, like uh, Coach, you mentioned in the last interview that uh, you had plans to visit in, uh, all the different cities around India with the, this season being held, like not inside the bubble. So, any plans to visit Kolkata, like in the meanwhile of the Duran Cup matches? 
I've already, uh, I've already done it. I've been out. Um, I took my mum, I took my kit off and went out in my normal clothes. Um, but I was still stopped in uh, the supermarkets and the, the malls that we went to, and uh, I had some very good conversations with. It was East Bengal fans. There was Mumbagam fans as well. We had some good photos and uh, good, good talk. So I've already been out and around Calcutta, um, and I've seen how passionate the fans are here. Um, like I said, I went out. I had a mask on. So it wasn't easily recognisable, but we're still spotted. Uh, but st st stood and spoke to as many people as uh, wanted to stop and speak. So, uh, yeah, it will be something that I'll continue to do. I'm very interested in getting around. It's one of the reasons I came to India was to experience the culture and the different cities and the football as well. Um, so it's something that I'll continue to do during, during the Dunang Cup and something I look forward to, to doing when we play other away games around the country. Thank you once again, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Levin. Uh, just a reminder, if anybody has a question, please put your names in the chat box. Uh, in the meantime, we have a question from News18 online who I think have, are having internet issues. Uh, this one's for Rahul. Rahul, you've played the Durand Cup before. How is it coming back to this tournament and especially playing it in front of fans this year? Uh, I think this is the pl best place uh, where we can start the season, where we will uh, be expecting a lot of uh, crowd. So. I have played it before with Air India and I have won it. So I'm really happy and excited uh, to be uh, in Durand Cup again, and our team will be representing, uh, will be playing Durand Cup for the first time. So obviously our aim is to win and do better and get uh, ready for Indian Super League. Thanks, Rahul. We'll come to uh, Triyasha. You have a follow-up? Yeah. Uh, hi. So I wanted to ask you if you could give us some insights on Ayush Chikara. He's really young and I wanted to know what sets him apart uh, from the other players that have been going through the ranks of Mumbai. Yeah, Ayush uh, has just come back from a, a knee injury. So he's, he's been re rehabilitating with us in Dubai and, and only taking part in some of the sessions. Um, it was, last night was his first, that he was signed off to return to full training. Uh, so I've seen the footage of him more so from the development teams that we have. Uh, and he's a very interesting young player who will complement um, Gurkara and complement, of course, Diaz in that central role. He's very different to those two types of players. Um, but I need to see a little bit more of him within our environment. But so far in the three and a half weeks or four weeks that we've had with him, um, I refer to him as the, the Indian uh, Harland. He has the, the build, <laughs> he certainly has the strength the, and the power. Um, now it's about making sure we can get him used to and adapt to uh, the way we want to play and the demands that are needed for senior football. Thank you, Coach. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. We'll come to uh, Shilajit. Hi, Coach. This is Shilajit again. Hi. Uh, uh, on your goalkeeping side, you have three options right now. Uh, Nawaz plays uh, last, last year in ISL. Uh, Lynch uh, played in uh, is in Champions League, OIL. And uh, you have a uh, best goalkeeper from the I-League, uh, Vashkada. Who is going to be your uh, first choice for Durand and for, for that in this uh, session? Yeah, I think the, the first two you mentioned with Fuba and Naz, uh, it was... They continue to have a very good work relationship and a good battle between each other, both in the ISL and then the Champions League uh, last season. They're two very young goalkeepers who were brought on fantastically well by David Coles, our goalkeeper coach, and they will continue to be brought on this year by Ramos, our goalkeeper coach. So they'll all get opportunities. Um, both of those will get opportunities. And uh, Bascar has joined us. We wanted to add some experience to that group and we wanted to add some quality to that group as well and Bascar certainly will do that based upon what we see of him last year and certainly the last three weeks that we've had him in training. So we'll see who starts. I'll, you'll see on the, the game uh, in two days' time who starts and, but they will all get opportunities to play over the next few weeks depending upon how they perform within training. So come to start of the ISL season I may give you a different or you may see something different but it'll be very much the same as it is with the outfield players depending upon the performances that they put in. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Shirajit. I have a question for Rahul. Rahul, um, obviously in the, in the Champions League, your, you scored, you stood out as one of the key Indian players in the side and it was a positive performance for you as well as the team. How important is it for you to bring that performance now into the Durand Cup at an individual level? 
Uh, I think it's very important, as coach said, that we need to continue the way we uh, played uh, in the Champions League. So as a team and as an individual, I feel I should continue the same way uh, and help my team uh, to win Durand Cup uh, as well as uh, ISL, which is our prime target. Thank you. Uh, one question from coach from Anil from the Indian Express. Coach, in the earlier press conferences, you spoke about fitness levels and having fitness plans for the players in the off-season. How happy are you with the way the team has returned from the off-season fitness-wise? Um, as happy as I can be. Uh, they, I think with the, the work that the players have done in the off-season, Danny Deegan, our strength and conditioning coach, give every single player a, a program to work towards and they were tested upon return and the results were quite significantly more than what they reported back in last season. So we've started from a better base, but like I said, we've only had three weeks um, together. So we've tried to enhance that of the three weeks. And the, what it has shown in the, in the trainings is the quality of the football is a lot higher because of that. And we're a lot quicker and sharper because of that. There's still a long way to go. Uh, if I look at the ISO, it doesn't start till October, which will give us at least another six or seven weeks to make sure we're as, as good as we can be for that. Um, but again, we'll, we'll make sure as we're as sharp as we can be for the first game against the Navy first into the rank cup. Coach, uh, we'll take fi a final few questions if there are any. Uh, if you have uh, questions, you can uh, put your names in the chat box. Just give it a few seconds. All right. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for your time this afternoon. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Rahul. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you later in the course of the tournament as well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you, guys. See you.